Well, hello there. Come on in. I'm Chris Brown. I'm your humble chimney sweep. I was just going over your chimney inspection report, but now that you're here, make yourself comfortable. Let's go over it together, shall we? Okay, now let's take a look at the inspection report and see how it reads out. This is a generic report. This is exactly what you will get, only your information obviously will be filled into all these blanks. The upper right hand corner of the report is the legend. Each one of these initials pertain to something. A is consistent with the age of the chimney. B, C comments below. C, repairs needed. D, need further evaluation or E, not applicable. And they're placed into the boxes next to the parts of the chimney that can be easily identified in this diagram. And then of course you'll find my comments here below. Now let's take a look at your particular, your personal report. So stay with me. Hey Bobby, we went out to uh, the house over on Selwyn Avenue and cleaned and inspected the chimney for you. And I want to go over these uh, pictures with you if I may. So uh, open wood burning fireplace, I'm sorry, open wood burning fireplace of course, but it has vented gas logs in it. They've got a piece of sheetrock just kind of stuck up in there with these sticks holding it. And the reason for that is pretty simple. It's got a it's all open up in here because there's no damper. This, uh, this fireplace was built before dampers were invented. So, But it works well with these vented gas logs because if you went to the expense of putting a damper in, and it'd be very expensive, there wouldn't, it wouldn't be any use in it that you'd have to block it open because the uh, state of North Carolina would want the damper blocked open 24-7 for your protection. In other words, with vented gas logs, it produces the carbon soot that you see in the carbon monoxide you don't see. And if you started up the logs with a damper closed, you'd fill the house up with something you wouldn't see or smell and your next stop would be likely to the hospital. So the, uh, they want the damper blocked open since it's wide open anyway, there's no reason to put a damper in there. Uh, let's see, let's go up on top. Let's take a look at the top shots here. These are just some pictures, it's got a nice stainless steel cap um, the humidity was getting to my lens there, so it's a little out of focus. Sorry about that. Inside the cap, you can see it. And we're looking here. We're just making sure that it's uh, secure to the top of the chimney. It is a big chimney cap. We wouldn't want the wind blowing it off. Now, the, uh, the deal with the chimney cap is you don't have to worry about birds getting into that uh, chimney or squirrels or even rain pouring down the chimney. So this is really a good thing to have. And, and um, so we want to leave that up there for sure. Uh, these are just different views of the flu system. We just um, took some general images here off of a scanner, flu scanner. And uh, so that's looking fine. If you folks uh, have questions for me, though, give me a call. 704-526-6348. You can email me at chris at affordablesweep.com. Thanks.